Okay, we're going to do a multi-cam edit, and we're going to start over. We're going to—I'm going to delete this clip I just made, and I'm going to delete all this stuff out of the timeline. So we have clip one and clip two, and I changed the view here to angle viewer. Okay, and here's hide angles to go back. Okay, so here's what I did. I just changed it to show angles. Then I selected the clip and I went to info and I called this camera one, camera name one. This one I called camera name two. All right, now I select both of them and I right mouse click and I do a new multi-cam clip and I'm going to call this multi-test. And I say okay. <clears throat> it created the clip. So now I take the clip and I put it down in my timeline. <clears throat> Here it is. Go ahead and trim it as needed. Trim off this extra on the end. Ah, trim off that. Okay, so here I've got my clip that I want. It's showing one angle here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the audio for camera one is already selected. So I'm going to select the audio for that one. Okay, now this is an important step. Now you've got to switch back to the video in order to make the video cuts. So I go back here to the beginning and I should be able to play it and make the cuts as I go along. Let's see here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to cut to the wide. We're doing There's a test, the wide. we're going to do a multi-cam edit here on these two cameras. All right, now I'm going to cut and to the tight. what we get. We're going to use camera one. See there, it's, it's doing audio, the cuts it's perfectly. Audio, distant audio. I didn't bother to hook up a mic. Then I'm going to cut back. This is just a test. And we're going to do a sync, and we're going to see what we end up with on the So that's it. Editing. If you do it Last right, time I tried this, it it's pretty damn shit. simple. Um, and so we're going to see if this works so, the way it's supposed to work. Let me just pause it. So I guess this other option here, over here, you would cut both the camera and the audio when you've got that selected. But typically, we're only going to be wanting to select the video, so we would select this one. So that's it. The multi-cam editing is working great. At the beginning, I had a few issues with it, and but now it seems to have matured to where it's very simple, very easy to do, and absolutely go ahead and use the multi-cam editing.